Good morning. So as you can probably see behind me, it's raining today. Yeah. So what do you do when it's raining on a bicycle tour? Well, you have two choices. You can either say, sod it, I'll take a day off, or you can man up and get wet. Uh, I haven't got a choice because I've got to cycle today because I've got some deadlines to meet, so I'm going to get wet. But that said, I have got uh, some uh, waterproof gear, so hopefully that will keep me semi-dry and uh, reasonably warm along the way. 110 kilometers to go until Fier in Albania. But, and this should help, let me show you what my kind hosts have brought me here. That breakfast should help. Cheers. You know, I started off in the rain today and it's uh, pretty much rained for the first two hours. Uh, there has been a tailwind pushing me along actually, which has been quite helpful, so most of the wind's been hitting me from behind. Um, the waterproof gear is holding up fine, so I definitely recommend people when they do a bicycle tour, tour with waterproof gear, don't listen to those idiots that say, oh, your skin will dry. Just don't do it. It's not the rain, it's the cold that will get you. So at the minute I'm feeling nice and toasty. Uh, about a third of the way through, I've uh, got a big hill ahead of me, which is that way, and then a big uh, downhill. It should be about 110 kilometers when I've finished, and I've got a hotel already pre-booked because there's no camping in Fier, and who wants to wild camp when you've got wet clothes? Well, I don't, and I don't need to, so I'm not going to. And that's enough for me for now. I'm going to finish eating my lunch and hit the road again. Cheers. Okay, so it's probably at this point I should say that this whole vlogging thing is completely new to me. Uh, recording stuff in the rain and the wind is a first, hence the sound quality was pretty damn poor. Basically what I was saying is that uh, good waterproof gear is pretty essential on the bicycle tour, so if you can buy the best gear you can, I would definitely recommend that because it just adds a level of comfort to you, you want to keep nice and warm. Um, when you when it's raining that's the most important thing so back onto the road then it rained pretty for, much for most of the day and that was 110 kilometers of rain which was just superb you can't get better than that can you the driving from uh, the Albanians is pretty good most people give me a wide berth uh, it was one thing I was a little bit concerned about in the wet weather but there was no need to be my route followed SH4 which is the State Highway 4 I guess it stands for and it's a good quality road sealed reasonably new only one or two patchy sections and this went all the way through to Fier I think that's how it's said uh, the last five kilometers into Fier were not that pleasant and Fier itself is a town which is I don't know, I wouldn't want to say it's a nothing -y town, but uh, I think it's like a, I don't know, like a transport hub, a distribution place, maybe it's an industrial town. It's not got a great deal going for it. You wouldn't choose to stay there unless you had to, i.e. that's what I needed to do. Uh, back onto the route then. Uh, the route was really pleasant. It was, there was a lot of scenery all around and a lot of green. And it would have been nice to have seen it in the, in the sunshine. I think seeing it in the rain gives it another different dimension though. You see the water flowing off and the rivers were slightly fuller. Plenty of roadside stops along the way if you want to stop for a coffee. 
I decided not to. I was basically stopping every hour or so just for a quick snack. Uh, the reason being, I had a tailwind pushing me along for a little bit of it, so I wanted to make the most of it. The thing with a tailwind is you've really got to just, you know, sort of have it while it's there. Because they're very rare, normally it's just a headwind. So on some stages I was getting pushed up the hills. Now this, uh, this section of the journey, it wasn't too bad in terms of uphill. I think the total ascent for the day was less than a, a thousand metres. But you can check all that out on my blogs. Remember that I'm doing full blogs on daystravelpages.com and that includes not only these videos in the blogs but a bit of a write-up and also full routes which include the uh, mileage I put in, uh, distances, speeds, all that sort of thing. Check it out. I ended up at the night uh, in a hotel in Fier. No campsite, as I said, didn't really want a wild camp. And that set me up for the next morning. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Not very exciting, I know, but there we go. But please thumbs up anyway, you know, I'll try my best. And subscribe to the channel for regular updates. I'm doing a vlog a day on this Greece to England cycle ride. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.